Hey, it's Anamika and this is Summer and I just wanted to make a quick video about this this concept of the experience of being on what feels like an ascending spiral in life and particularly I wanted to talk about it in regards to painting and learning how to make art so um, earlier today I was on a on a call on a live video call with all the participants who are in my online class and um, in this class I'm teaching people painting techniques and um, walking in nature and getting their own inspiration so they can really make their own work. And um, one of my participants uh, named Tara brought up a really, really good point and we had a fascinating discussion about it. And so I was like, gosh, I just want to make a video um, and expand upon this conversation because what she was talking about um, is this process or the distinction this is boring you. <laughs> she was talking about the distinction between, you know, art techniques and then developing a style and then really finding your voice within that style or that kind of like essence part of you that comes through. And you can kind of think of that as a linear process, right? Anything you try that's new, you, you, you have to learn the techniques first. So you're learning like the tools and the techniques, like how to actually use a brush and put paint onto a canvas. And then you do it for a while and you really get this, you get it down and you start to notice you have your own style of putting paint onto a canvas with a brush. And then after lots and lots of practice and lots and lots of doing it, you notice you kind of, your essence and your voice really comes through in your work. Um, and I, <laughs> I would like to venture that um, aside, like we can also look at it not as a linear process, but as a three dimensional process. So that you'll go through that same kind of linear evolution in learning something new, really um, mastering it and then being able to imbue and infuse your own spirit and vision into it. Um, anytime you try something new, especially with a new technique in art. So um, I, I thought about it like more in terms of the room. So like over here, there's new techniques, right, available. I'm trying out new techniques on the wall. And then over there, I have a bunch of paintings over there. That's like my style coming through. That's where I can really see that those techniques have developed kind of into my own style. But then out here, this is my voice. This is like my truth and where my essence comes through in the work. And so every time I try a new technique over here, I then have to do it enough to where I create my own style and then my voice comes through in my work. But then I want to learn a new technique. And I come, I'm like, I'm like, oh man, I've been here before. This is, I'm back to square one. But really, I'm like a level up from where I was before. I'm building upon it. I'm back to my techniques. And then I'm heading over, developing a style, and then I'm able to sh share my true voice in it. And on and on. You're just, you're like returning to square one, going to step two, out to step three of mastery. And every time you return to square one, you're at a new level. So you really are progressing and you really are like evolving and mastering it all, but you can often feel like when you're making art um, that you're constantly like back to back to the beginner mode. You're you're learning new techniques, and it can especially feel that way when you take an art class and you're like, I know I already I already had creativity, and maybe you're already a full-time professional artist, but you want to learn a new technique. So you have to learn the technique and then apply it enough time so your own style kind of develops and then your own voice comes through in it. Um, so I just, I wanted to kind of flesh that out for you and literally like walk it out in three dimensions because that concept of the ascending spiral is so key and my mom talks about it all the time. My mom is Nancy Hopp, she's awesome. And it, you know, in life it's like, oh man, I already learned this lesson. Uh, but oh here I am again learning the same lesson but you know you're always actually in a different place you're at another level of learning that lesson and um, 
so yeah that was just a little nugget that we talked about today in class and I wanted to share it with the rest of you and um, oh I also really wanted to credit my friend Nikki Cade um, because she talks a lot about the distinction between techniques style and your voice and she was having that conversation with Tara who then brought it up in my class and then I was able to integrate it into my worldview and now you can take it out into yours isn't that wonderful um, so anyway, thanks for being with me here, and I'm sure I'll be making more videos like this, so I'll see you in the next video.